So hydrocephalus, build up a spinal fluid in the brain, it's the symptom of something else, usually. Um, the symptom of the brain not reabsorbing fluid as well as it should. Normal pressure hydrocephalus. A lot of times that happens in um, the elderly community. Uh, even Alzheimer's can be misdiagnosed for Alzheimer's when it's really normal pressure hydrocephalus and they just need a shunt and they'll be fine once the excess fluid is diverted. I think that also has to do with um, as you get older, your brain is less pliable and doesn't allow, like your, your brain can't handle the higher pressures or pressures that were totally fine for the, their whole life. And then all of a sudden it's just too much for the, their head at that moment um, for whatever reason. There are tumors um, that can block the flow of spinal fluid. Um, there are many different malformations in the brain, especially in those, between those ventricles in the pathways that connect the ventricles together. Those can get clogged and um, cause problems. So anything that disrupts spina bifida could cause it. Any disruption in the spine, um, pseudotumor cerebri, uh, so a pretend tumor can cause hydrocephalus where your body thinks there's a tumor. I, not as familiar with that as others. Um, but yeah, anything that can disrupt the flow of spinal fluid from the ventricles in the brain that it can cause hydrocephalus.